Hi guys, I'm here with Naomi and now we're covering Bitcoin Cash. And Naomi, you're gonna have to now guess again, is Bitcoin Cash a first generation crypto or a second generation crypto? Just it like guess. broke up. Is Bitcoin, a, I mean, Bitcoin Cash, is it first generation or second generation? And I'll give you a hint, it's like Bitcoin. So is Bitcoin first generation? First generation. Correct, good job, see, you're learning, there we go. So does that mean you can do smart contracts on Bitcoin Cash? It broke up for a second, what? Can you do smart contracts with Bitcoin Cash? No. Yes, that's correct. Can you create your own Cena coin or Naomi coin on Bitcoin Cash? Wait, was I wrong? No, you're right. So can you create a Cena coin or a Naomi coin on Bitcoin Cash? An ERC-20 token? No. No, it's not like Ethereum. So that's it's a, a first-generation crypto. So let's just sum it up. Bitcoin, first-generation crypto. Um, Ripple, first-generation crypto. Bitcoin Cash, which is number four, first-generation. So right now, the only second-generation coin we've covered was Ethereum. Got it? Yes. And so Bitcoin Cash is literally just a knockoff of Bitcoin. So it is somewhat decentralized as well. It's not as centralized as Ripple and it is not, it, it's a hybrid. If you, in a way, it's really funny. If you take Ripple and Bitcoin and put them kind of together, that's kind of what Bitcoin Cash is. So it has elements of decentralization like Bitcoin and it has elements of Ripple where um, it's very cheap to send. It has a way bigger block size and we're not going to really go into block size, but basically the bigger the block size, you can put more transactions in there. So it allows the network to grow faster. Does this all make sense or no? Yeah. So, and so basically the reason that why they came out with Bitcoin Cash is that Bitcoin was very slow and there's something called the Lightning Network. So at the time they didn't have this Lightning Network. So Bitcoin needed improvements. And there's also another thing they wanted to do called a Sedwick. And like I said, th the stuff that I'm telling you, if anyone's really interested, you're gonna have to go Google it because we're trying to keep these videos short. But basically these technologies that Bitcoin has now wasn't available when Bitcoin Cash was created. So in a way, the reason why Bitcoin Cash was created is to solve Bitcoin's problem where it was very slow and is a very clogged network. And right now, Bitcoin is actually just as competitive as Bitcoin Cash, but Bitcoin Cash is still cheaper and faster because there's less people using Bitcoin Cash. Does that all make sense? Hmm. Yeah. So, and it's a complete knocked off, copy off. And that's why some people are skeptical of cryptos because they're like, hey, well, can't people just keep creating like, you know, another knockoff coin? Well, not really, because like I said, I mean, Bitcoin Cash now has stayed in the top five since it was creative. So there hasn't been like now, like, like they try to create like Bitcoin diamond, Bitcoin gold. So there's been a bunch of other knockoffs of Bitcoin, but none of them are as big as Bitcoin cash because Bitcoin cash was the first one. And it also has someone called Roger Ver. Do you know who Roger Ver is Naomi? Mm -hmm. It's just this nerdy guy it, who basically created Bitcoin cash. That, I'm cutting out. Oh, I'm cutting out. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's our internet or whatever, but we'll wrap it up. Anyways, Roger Ver is this creator of Bitcoin Cash that no one likes. So in a way, no one really likes Ripple. Like so there's haters for Ripple. There's also haters for Bitcoin Cash. And uh, we'll go to the next coin to kind of uh, elaborate more. So we will talk to you guys soon.